discuss the topic of uh, thermodynamics and thermochemistry now. This otherwise also called uh, chemical thermodynamics. This is also otherwise called chemical thermodynamics. Now, thermodynamics is studied in both uh, physics, chemistry and of course, engineering thermodynamics as it is having a lot many applications in every field of science. In every field of science, this thermodynamics has its own implications. In fact, this thermodynamics is the basic uh, principle of uh, science whether a process takes place or do not take or does not take place, how it takes place, what is energy changes, all these are the things that what we discuss in this chapter of uh, thermodynamics. So, thermodynamics whether it is physical thermodynamics, chemical thermodynamics or engineering thermodynamics, whatever it is overall the thermodynamics, thermo, thermodynamics means thermo is heat, thermo refers to heat, dynamics refers to flow. So, it is all related to study of heat flow in a system or it is the exchange of heat between a system and surroundings. Study of heat flow is thermodynamics. So, this heat flow may be between two different systems or system and surroundings and due to heat flow what also happens? Due to heat flow as there will be certain changes in the internal energy and it will also allow the system to do so to perform certain work. So, here we discuss about the heat changes and the consequences. So, it is the overall study of heat flow, study of heat flow in a system and consequences, consequences and applications. This is what overall thermodynamics is. It is the study of heat flow in a system its consequences and what are the applications of heat flow. That is what in the thermodynamics normally we discuss and especially chemical thermodynamics mainly relates to chemical thermodynamics mainly refers to study of heat changes, study of heat changes in chemical processes chemical processes that is chemical here chemical process means it is chemical reactions. So, is the reason here also we call it as reaction thermodynamics means thermodynamics in reference to chemical reactions thermodynamical changes that occur in a chemical reaction. And in the chemistry point of view, what is the significance of thermodynamics? In the chemistry point of view, the significance of thermodynamics is that here thermodynamics will tell us whether the reaction can take place feasible or not feasible under the given conditions. The very basic application of thermodynamics in chemistry is with the help of thermodynamical data, with the help of thermodynamical calculations, we can understand that a reaction is feasible or not feasible under the given conditions of temperature pressure conditions. Here, chemical thermodynamics and chemical kinetics are the two important uh, topics to understand the 
overall reaction feasibility and mechanism. Chemical kinetics deals with mechanism of reactions. Chemical thermodynamics deals with feasibility of reaction. So, for any reaction first what we should understand is its thermodynamics, thermochemical changes. From the thermodynamics of a reaction that is what we call reaction thermodynamics, we can understand whether the reaction is feasible or not. If once the reaction is feasible, then what is the mechanism of the reaction that comes in chemical kinetics. Therefore, chemical thermodynamics always interested only upon what are the reactants and what are the products, but how the reactants are combining with each other and how a product is formed is not explained in thermodynamics or in the other way thermodynamics never speak about time taken for the reaction to complete. Thermodynamics will never speak about the rate of reaction, but thermodynamics talks about only feasibility of a reaction. Whereas, if once the reaction is feasible and if you understand it by thermodynamics, then chemical kinetics comes into picture to understand what is the mechanism, what is the time taken, what is the rate of reaction, what is the factors affecting the rate that all will come in chemical kinetics. But in thermodynamics, it is not the mechanism that is required, it is not the factors affecting the reaction is required, but what all are required are is only whether the reaction is feasible or not feasible. What is the free energy change in the reaction? What is the enthalpy change in the reaction? What is the entropy change in the reaction? What is the initial and what are the final states? So, thermodynamics is more interested only about the initial and final states rather than how the change is brought about. Okay. Now, when it comes to the actual topic of this thermodynamics, here we have uh, three things mainly that we have to study that is in part one this is mainly of uh, three parts. The part one is first law of thermodynamics, first law of thermodynamics and applications part 2 is thermochemistry that is chemical applications of first law chemical applications of first law of thermodynamics. Part 3 is second law, third law of thermodynamics and spontaneity. Spontaneity of chemical reactions. So, these are the three parts in which we discuss this whole topic of thermodynamics and thermochemistry. In the part 1 we discuss first law of thermodynamics and applications. Second thing exclusively chemical applications of first, uh, first law that is part 2 that is what we call thermochemistry enthalpy changes. And in the first law of thermodynamics mainly what we discuss is about the heat flow corresponding internal energy change and uh, work done in a process. This is chemical work or other chemical reactions. This is part 3 is second law that relates to entropy, free and free energy, third law of thermodynamics, absolute entropy and spontaneity on the basis of free energy change of a reaction.